Hey everyone, welcome back to Amazon S3 again. So far we have learned how to create buckets, upload objects, make a bucket policy, how to host a static website. And now we want to do some hands-on on versioning. So let's go to Amazon S3 and let me go to my buckets. The first thing we need to do is to enable versioning. So you have to go to buckets and click, your, click on your bucket. And here you have to go to properties and there is a bucket versioning as you can see. So you can read more about it here, some description. Let's click on edit. And here you can see there is a two options, suspend and enable. And by default it's suspend. So we want to enable this. So as you can see here, we are getting some warning message. After enabling bucket versioning, you might need to update your lifecycle rules to manage previous versions of objects. All right, let's click on save changes. And now, I want to go to my objects and as you can see I have index.html and two images one is main.svg and another one is simple.gpg so if I go to properties and then if I go to bottom and I have a static website hosting so if I copy this web bucket website endpoint in a new tab you can see I have my simple website for, a, for an example so I want to change some content of this website and I want to show this uh, like versioning, how the versioning works. So basically I want to change this image. So in order to do that, I want to go to my console, my terminal, and I want to do vi index.html. And here I want to insert this and I want to change the image basically. So from simple GPG, I want to change main.svg and I want to escape colon wq right and quit. And now I want to upload this index.html again to my bucket. So I have to go to buckets, my bucket, and I'm going to click on upload, add files, and here I have index.html. I want to open it again and upload it. So I want to close it. Now I want to make this object again, like uh, I have to enable a public, just check, click the checkbox and then click on actions and make public using ACL and make public. And now if I go to my simple DevOps website and click on this refresh button, you can see the, change, the image change it to my from my banner to my main logo of my YouTube channel. So now we want to know how the versioning works. So let's go back and here let's close this. And now here you can see there is a version show versions button here as you can see. So if I click on that, you can see it's showing me the, the versions. There is a two index.html. One is, as you can see, marks with L and the one is with a new version ID. Let me zoom it a bit. So as you can see, there is a version ID of our lastly added version. So if I, for example, if you want to restore, if you want to go back to your previous website that we, uh, that we had an earlier, so we can come back and we want to delete this by clicking on this checkbox and click on delete and here we want to permanently delete so here you can see that we want to permanently delete this and then we want to delete objects and then close that and now if we refresh this you can see we can simply go back to our previous image that we had initially so now we can also do uh, we can also delete this existing image so let's turn off these short versions and then for example if I delete this object main.svg let's go and delete and as you can see now we are not uh, deleting it permanently we are just deleting on delete and delete objects and now this will mark uh, as delete let's close this and now if I show versions, if I click on this show versions, you can see we have two main.svg. One is with a type of delete marker and one is our previous, the main SVG. 
So you can also see the version ID. The one that we have just deleted is giving us with a version ID. So when we delete, uh, after we enable the versioning and when we delete the uh, object, we'll get some version ID. So if I click on this checkbox and delete this version ID, uh, I want to permanently delete this. Control C and Control V, delete objects. If I close that, and as you can see, if I click on this show versions again, it's now disappeared. So this is how S3 versioning works in AWS. So this is how you can um, play with versioning. And this is how you can create, upload, make public, make bucket policy, host a static website, and do hands-on with versioning in Amazon S3. So you can refer to my previous video in order to create a bucket, upload objects, and do, to host a static website. That's all about it for this video, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.